I'm glad you can join us today because we're going to do something we've never done before on Veterans Medals Workshop and uh, let us know if you enjoy it. So let's go take a look. <laughs> Hello and glad to have you with us today for an incredibly unusual show in which we're going to show you the rarest military badges in the world, the astronaut badges for the Army the Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, and the United States Air Force. And we'll even give you a glimpse of the commercial astronaut badge and the civilian astronaut badge. There's a lot of ways to get up there in space, but not many of these badges have been awarded because you've got to get up 50 miles or higher unless you're in an X-15 rocket, and I don't think they're using those anymore. So stick with me on this because you're going to see a couple of historical things or badges that you've never seen before. And right towards the end, I'll even show you some of, the Nas of NASA's medals. So you've probably never seen the National Aeronautical and Space Administration medals before, and they're unique. So uh, let's go take a look. The gold astronaut device is issued by the U.S. Army to Army aviators, flight surgeons, and air crew members who qualify as astronauts. But it's mainly been Army aviators. The astronaut device is, of course, a gold shooting star in an elliptical orbit, which is affixed over the shield of the previously awarded Army Aviation badges. So what I'm showing here is the Army Astronaut Badge, the Senior Army Astronaut Badge, and then at the very top, the Master Army Astronaut Badge. One of the things that you have to be aware of that it's a gold shooting star in elliptical circle, and if you see a set of wings without the gold ones, I don't know where they came from because they're not authorized. So just to put things into perspective, here's an example of Army astronaut badges from reading from left to right, Army astronaut, senior Army astronaut, master Army astronaut, over the regular Army aviator, senior Army aviator, and master aviator badges. And just to put things into perspective, 110 years ago, this was the first military aviator badge issued by the Army in 1913 to Captain Chandler. Uh, 24 karat gold, not so bad, huh? By the beginning of World War I, the badge had changed to the wings that you see on your right. And by 1918, a star had been added above the wings to indicate a senior pilot. And of course, I know you really want to see a comparison between the military aviator wings of 1913, World War I, and the current astronaut wings as issued by the Army today. The naval astronaut insignias are issued in a single degree to naval aviators and flight officers from the United States Navy, United States Marine Corps, and the United States Coast Guard. A closer look at the naval astronaut insignia at the very top, it shows it's a bronze gold-plated wings of a naval aviator with a shooting star and a ring superimposed above the center shield. Of course, what I'm showing you uh, just below the astronaut insignia are the current naval aviator insignia, which is a bronze gold-plated metal pin consisting of a fouled anchor surmounted by a shield centered on the basic wings. And below that, just to give you the historical perspective, is a set of World War I naval wings. The naval flight officer astronaut wings are shown at the top over a normal set of naval flight officer wings. And I should point out that the Coast Guard does not award a naval flight officer astronaut set of wings, only the regular naval aviator astronaut wings. The United States Air Force astronaut badge consists of a standard United States Air Force aeronautical badge upon which is centered the astronaut device. 
The Air Force does not consider the astronaut to be a separate rating from any of its six established rating badges, but a qualifier. So you can see here for a navigator, the astronaut device is affixed in the center of a normal set of Air Force navigator wings. So you can see here that all three navigator ratings of navigator, senior navigator, and master navigator also have the astronaut device affixed in the center of their wings. And here you can see that the Air Force has been very practical in using the astronaut device to identify those members of the Air Force, which are navigators or pilots or flight surgeons, who have qualified as astronaut. And of course you can see the difference that the shooting star in elliptical circle is in silver oxide that matches the same color as the rest of the wings. When you say, wait a minute, Frank, you showed us the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard astronaut badges, but what about the new Space Force? Well, you're absolutely right. The Space Force, the Air Force, and the Army all authorize the Space Badge, and the Army has provided a provision for the Army astronaut device to be added to the Space Badge for any member of the Army, and I'm supposing also the Air Force and Space Force, who achieves the qualification as an astronaut to add the astronaut device to the space badge. And just to tidy up the record, uh, NASA does have a civilian astronaut badge which is issued to civilian personnel who participate in U.S. space missions and it's a cloth sewn badge as shown here. And for all you commercial pilots who aspire to be astronauts, well, it is a doable thing because the Federal Aviation Commission has granted commercial astronaut wings to commercial pilots who have performed a successful space flight. And since 2004, there have been a number of commercial pilots who have made space flights, and so they qualify for the commercial pilot astronaut wings. And for those of you out there who have an eye for detail, NASA does issue a lapel pin for all astronauts to wear in their suit jacket lapel, as shown here. As I mentioned during the introduction, as an added bonus for staying with me, I would show you some of the NASA or astronaut medals. And the most prestigious one of them all is the Congressional Space Medal of Honor, which is at the top of NASA's Pyramid of Honor. It is awarded by the President of the United States and is the only medal with a diamond in the center of it. And Neil Armstrong received the first one and perhaps only a dozen more have been awarded since then. NASA's Distinguished Service Medal may also be presented to astronauts upon completion of their fourth flight or a second flight as either commander or payload commander. Another NASA award that can be earned by astronauts is the NASA Exceptional Service Medal. It is generally awarded as a space flight crew member's contribution to the flight or upon completion of their second or third flight in space. The medal shown on the far right of this grouping is NASA's Outstanding Leadership Medal and generally recognizes astronauts for upon completion of their first flight in space as either a commander or a payload commander. The fourth medal in this grouping on your far right is the NASA Exceptional Achievement Medal and it's awarded for astronauts contribution as space flight crew members when they have completed their second or third flight into space. NASA has a number of other medals but I think this gives you a pretty good feel for the special medals that NASA has for astronauts and their achievement in space. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the show on the astronaut badges. They are indeed unique and you'll never see them, well this many of them again, anywhere in the world. And that's what we try to do here on Veterans Medals Workshop, to show you things that you're just not going to see anywhere else. So. If you enjoyed us, please give us a like, even better subscribe. <laughs> That's a big help, by the way. And uh, we'll see you next time.